For thousands of years, Jews have felt a strong emotional connection to Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel. In the book of Genesis, God says to Abraham, Lech lecha, go forth from your native land and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you shall be a blessing. Through challenges and trials and wars and revolts, our ancestors built a nation. After the Romans destroyed the second temple in 70 CE, which ended the Jewish rule in the land of Israel, our people were forced to wander the world. But Jews always yearned to return to the land, Haaretz. Yehuda Halevi, the brilliant Hebrew poet and philosopher of medieval Spain, was fascinated with his vision of Haaretz. He wrote, beautiful land, delight of the world. My heart longs for you from the far off west. All the beauties and treasures of Spain are worthless as dust in my eyes. Jews have been the other, the stranger, so many times in our long history. We were denigrated, expelled, persecuted, killed in pogroms and gas chambers for being the outsider. It was only on May the 15th, 1948, when the Israeli Declaration of Independence was announced to the world that Jews had our own place, our own land once again. The miracle of the modern Jewish state came about for many reasons, one of which was the wave of emigrations by the Zionist pioneers, Hachalutzim, starting in the late 1800s. One of the favorite themes of these Zionists was that of the Jewish people awakening from centuries of slumber to begin a new life, which is why the words of the prophet Isaiah were so meaningful to these pioneers. Awake, awake, O Zion, Uri, Uri Zion. Clothe yourself in splendor. Put on your robes of majesty, Jerusalem, holy city. Arise, shake off the dust. Moshe Wilensky, a Polish pianist and composer who emigrated to Palestine in 1932, set Isaiah's fervent words to a rhythmic horror-like melody, capturing the excitement of Israel's rebirth. Here is but an excerpt from Wilensky's Uri Zion. Uri Zion, hoi, uri, lief she who sich, uri Zion, hoi, uri. Uri Zion, hoi, uri, lief she who sich, uri Zion, hoi, uri. Lief she big day, for tich, Jerusalem, ir ha kodesh. Lief she big day, for tich, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, ir ha kodesh. Uri Zion, hoi, uri, lief she who sich, uri Zion, hoi, uri. Uri Zion, hoi, uri, lief she who sich. Uri Zion, hoi, uri, uri Zion, uri Zion, uri, uri Zion, 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 We celebrate 75 years of Israel's Renaissance this year of 2023, with all its challenges and struggles to remain the Zionist's dream. The fear that Israel today will no longer be a democratic country with a judiciary that balances the power 
of the politicians is a real one. An autocratic state is unimaginable to any Jew who has the capability to recall the horrors of the Holocaust and the terrors of that Nazi autocracy. And it is certainly not a fulfillment of the pioneer's dream. So we pray for the peace of Zion, of Jerusalem. The women of the choir and I will sing a classic Israeli folk song, Yerushalayim. The poetic text was written by the Hungarian author Avigdor Hameiri, who emigrated to Palestine in 1921 and who fought in the 1948 War of Independence. It is an expression of the intense longing for and feeling of belonging Jews feel for Jerusalem. Israel of Hollywood in Los Angeles created a new version of the official 1948 prayer for the welfare of the state of Israel. It emphasizes the state as the embodiment of the Jewish people's highest moral and spiritual aspirations. Eternal God of the universe, receive our prayers for the peace and security of the state of Israel and its people. Bring your blessing upon the land and upon all who labor in its interest. Inspire those who lead the Jewish state to follow the ways of righteousness. Remove from their hearts hatred, malice, jealousy, fear, and strife. Let them be infused with the ancient hope of Zion and be encouraged by the symbol of Jerusalem as the eternal city of peace. May the state of Israel be a blessing to all its inhabitants and to the Jewish people everywhere. And may she be a light to the nations of the world. The choir sang, Samachti Be'omrim Li, by Charles Osborne, to open this morning's service. The same text from Psalm 122, O Pray for the Peace of Jerusalem, was used by the English composer Herbert Howells in 1941 for a beautiful piece that is part of a set of four anthems originally entitled In Time of War. The choir will sing an excerpt from this composition. Howells was deeply affected by the death from polio of his nine-year-old son in 1935, 
and he channeled that grief into his music. The lyrical, yearning melody of this prayer for Jerusalem is poignant. Praying for the peace of Jerusalem is a symbol of our wishes for a whole, safe, democratic, inclusive state of Israel. My Israeli cousin, Hadar or Shalimi, who is a cantorial soloist here at Emmanuel, is currently with her family in Tel Aviv, and like hundreds of thousands of other Israelis, refuses to stand by while her rights are being subverted. I asked her what it's like to be part of the protest movement that has swept over the whole country. She said that after Shabbat is over, she walks in the demonstrations week after week for months now, calling out for democrazia, democracy, along with the thousands of others who have taken to the streets. She is actively working to retain the precious democracy that is endangered. She says that it is the biggest fight of all their lives and that there has never in the history of Israel been anything like this. The demonstrators are fighting to have a constitution and basic human rights for all Israelis. And they need the assistance of American Jews because they can't do it alone. We have to help. Hadar says that these protests must succeed or there will not be a safe, democratic place for Jews in the world. And we all know how that ends. The epitome of the Israeli dream for a whole, peaceful life is expressed in Naomi Shemer's Yerushalayim Shel Zahav, Jerusalem of Gold. It is Israel's unofficial second national anthem, written in May of 1967 and fervently sung by Israeli soldiers at the reunification of Jerusalem during the Six-Day War. Shemer's image of Jerusalem as a city of gold, of copper, and of light is hauntingly beautiful. The olive tree that stands in silence upon the hills of time to hear the voices of the city as bells of evening chime. Oh. The 
chauffeur sounding from the temple to call the world to prayer. The shepherd pauses in the valley and peace is everywhere. Yerushalayim shall Israel's 75th year. May we have hope for Zion's future, courage to stand up to zealots, and strength to conquer doubt. May we work toward peace with a conscience, peace with righteousness, justice, and human rights. May we indeed be a blessing and be a light to the nations once more. Kein Yehi may it be God's will. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs>